Hi, my name is Guy Raide. I'm a product marketing manager in the Silicon Test Solutions Group at Mentographics. And today we're going to talk about using scan diagnosis to identify systematic yield limiters. Now, scan diagnosis is a software-based approach that helps you identify defects in failing devices based on design representation, test patterns, and fail data. Now, scan diagnosis has been used for a long time for defect localization, but we can also use diagnosis um, to identify systematic yield limiters. And to do that, we will perform diagnosis on a larger number of um, failures, so a larger number of uh, uh, devices failing manufacturing tests. And then we analyze and data mine these diagnosis results to find um, the devices that represent systematic defects and devices where we're most likely to be successful in FA. And this is a two-step approach. At Mentographics, we have two products called Tessent Diagnosis and Tessent Yield Insight um, that are used in this flow. Tessent Diagnosis is uh, a later word diagnosis tool that identifies a defect in failing devices. Tessent Yield Insight is a drill-down tool specialized to identify yield limiters based on scan test diagnosis results. Um, now, in diagnosis, there are basically two types of results. There is uh, locations, whether it's logic locations or physical locations, and it's what we call location properties. Uh, these are, uh, for instance, the type of cell and the, uh, the layers involved with uh, a particular defect. And these location properties are especially valuable when we use diagnosis for yield analysis purposes. So in Yield Insight, which is a tool that uh, analyzes diagnosis results, we can import uh, these later word diagnosis results and then analyze and visualize these results in different ways. And an example of what we would like to do is to basically separate all the different devices based on their diagnosis results. As in this little example, uh, we see that there's one cluster of devices that are diagnosed to have uh, bridges in metal three. There's another cluster of devices that are diagnosed to have opens involving VF4s. And the idea here is to use the tool to separate these populations of devices. Uh, and this is something that Yield Insight can do for us. Uh, another example here is um, a die level heat map that shows us clusters of defects within the die. Uh, in this case, these clusters at the die level represent also wafer level clusters. Another type of analysis we can do is to basically look at um, which properties, such as which defect types or which, in this case, um, vias that are involved in, in uh, or part of a uh, diagnosis result, do we see the most variation? We would expect any defect type to have kind of the same defect distribution as the total number of, or the total uh, set of failing die. In this case, we saw that one particular type of, uh, of failures had a very different distribution than a total defect distribution, and that's what makes that particularly interesting. We've done several publications on this. This is from a paper that was uh, uh, published at ISTVA in 2011. Um, the, the challenge here was uh, that we saw a slight increase fallout in uh, scan uh, chain failures and using Yield Insight we were able to identify that if we looked at only a particular type of failures, failures associated with one particular type of scan cells, we saw that those devices were clustered in the center of the wafer. We're able to then uh, send some of those to FA and find the issue, resolve uh, the yield issue in less than two weeks rather than three months with a regular uh, result. Something also very exciting we've done more recently is to correlate DFM uh, results and diagnosis results. This is from a paper published at AS ASMC uh, earlier in 2012, where we used uh, Yield Insight to identify critical design features that uh, caused uh, uh, yield loss. Uh, I'll also invite you to check us out on the web. We have several additional resources, both on diagnosis and diagnosis for, um, for yield analysis. So thank you very much for stopping by.